One day, while Buddha was doing meditation, a young man visited him. He looked upset. Buddha asked him the reason. The young man said that his father died a few months back. He could not get out of the sorrow, but he wants to perform the best afterlife rituals for his father, so that his father's soul would go to heaven. Irrespective of what his father has done in his life, either good or bad, so I came to you with a request. Please, do the afterlife rituals for my father so that his soul will gain entry to heaven and resides there. Buddha said, Okay, bring two earthen pots, some pebbles and butter to fill the pots. The young man thought that the items for the last rituals. He went to the market and bought them. Buddha said, Fill one pot with pebbles and one pot with butter and seal them and then go and drop both the pots at the nearby pond. The young man did so, and both the pots sank to the bottom. Then Buddha said, Now break them open with a stick. The young man struck hard and broke the pots. Butter from one of the pots started floating in the pond, while the pebbles from the second pot settled at the bottom. Then Buddha said, Well, I have done this much. Now, call all your priests and ask them to pray for butter to sink and pebbles to float on the surface. The young man was shocked and asked, How is it possible? The pebbles are heavier than water and will stay only on the bottom. Butter is lighter than water and will only float. So, doing the opposite is against the natural law, Buddha said. Young man, you understand the natural law pretty well, but you forget that it applies to everyone. In all his life, if your father performed wrong actions that were heavy, like pebbles, he is bound to go down, and no one will pick him up. If he had performed right actions that were light like butter, he should go up, and no one can push him down. Youngman now understood the natural law. He fell on Buddha's feet and thanked him for teaching him the lesson. Similarly, in our life, whatever we do, either good or bad, we are going to get it back, and it is the law of karma. No external power can change it. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. Live a good and honorable life, so that when you are older, you can look back and enjoy it a second time. We hope these short stories of Buddha must have helped you understand our life. Thank you for watching and keep rising.